Um, I guess we can get started here. Uh, let's see, the current candidate pipeline. Uh, we have the library refresh viewer, the group ran viewer, and the login, the new login viewer out in as release candidates. Uh, there's also, uh, let's see, did we, I think there's one other one that I didn't put on my list. Um, yeah, there's also one out for the, um, it's called Zipper. Um, it's the one that uses uh, skin files in a .zip uh, FIFS archive. Uh, I don't recommend trying to port that. It seems to be doing pretty terribly in um, on older operating systems. Uh, we suspect that FIFS is not well supported on older versions of Windows. Uh, and uh, it's not entirely clear we're going to continue with that project. Um, so that one's in question. Don't devote a lot of time to porting it yet. Um, are people hearing me okay? I'm hearing you fine. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, there was just less side chatter than usual. Uh, so let's see, those, those are out, um, everything else is doing pretty well, um, so that's, that's all good, um, and, uh, we have updated versions of the Rift viewer and the Experience Tools viewer, um, and, uh, those, those are doing fine. I don't know when we're going to have updates for the Rift viewer for DK2. I know a few of you have started getting that. Um, so that's still a bit up in the air. Um, the Experience Tools beta is going very well. We're getting lots of good feedback. Uh, there are a few issues to be addressed, but nothing earth shattering yet. Um, and uh and and that's all going good um chat we're continuing with making backend changes there will be another rollout of some experiments shortly uh and we'll see how they go but like like i've said before we're not gonna we're not gonna uh generally announce when those happen because we don't want to change the experiment by changing people's perceptions. Um, so I think that's all that's new. So the floor is open. Well, since Jess isn't here, I'm going to ask you the oblig obligatory question about Cocoa Bugs. Uh, Cocoa Bugs. We have... There, there are there are some fixes. Um, the latest fix that you gave us, Cinder, actually th made things a lot worse on many of our test systems. Um, so I don't think we're going to be using that as is. Um, but um, I, I'm I'm actually not. Sure, we've got a lot of of Mac specific bugs that are high priority right now. So um, we need to we need to agree on what the what the list is because I think most of them are fixed. Worldly.
Uh, what did what did Vivox do to the port? I mean, they they haven't done anything lately because we haven't released a new version lately. Yeah, well, the alt the alt cam bug. There seem to be at least a couple of flavors of it. The flavor of the alt cam bug that um, in in which you you got weird zooming if you just cammed around. Uh, if you if you alt cammed and you got you, you zoomed out, uh, you know, like to a region wide a region distance, that's been fixed for for me for quite a while. Um, some people claim that it's still happening to them, so it's pretty clear. There was more than one thing going on, and we fixed one of them. Um, there's, I believe, we still have the bug in which if you if you alt click on something that centers that something, and then if you very 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 carefully alt click again without moving your mouse even one pixel, then you get a weird, basically the same motion that got done before gets done again so if you if you cause the scene to shift 20 degrees left then it shifts 20 degrees left again and only it's not on the thing that you did but the only way you can make that happen is to is to click twice on exactly the same pixel without moving the mouse in between um, which is actually kind of hard to do but um, but it's possible um, Right. I don't I, I don't claim to understand the the uh I don't know if that's Mac only or not. Um I don't frankly I don't consider that one a very, very high priority. I certainly don't think it's worth, you know, bending over backwards for because it's it's actually kinda hard to do. Uh or at least it is for me. Um the uh, the general slowdown of text entry, the only repros for that that we've ever gotten um, correspond to general text entry is slowing down on the system as a whole because you've run out of memory, basically. Um, and I don't think there's very much we can do about that. Um, if there are repros that don't involve nearly running out of memory. Um, right. Well, that's one of the ways to nearly run out of memory, right? Uh, is to is to bog your system down by opening a, a zillion windows. Um, don't do that. Uh, if you've got a system that runs out of memory, then don't run a million Safari windows at the same time you're running the Second Life Viewer. Um, uh, I, I don't, I, I don't, ha I made, I make no claims about that, um, but <laughs> okay, whichever it is, um, keyboard handling is different, uh, but. We can't, we can't go back, uh, or at least we're not going to. We're not going to try. Uh, so, um, I, I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure what to do about that. Well, we're we're trying to fix real problems. We're trying to fix group chat. That's a real problem. Every, I think everybody agrees on that, right? Operating keyboard again five years as a time span. 
Well. Uh, so it's not much of an achievement, if you ask me. Okay. Well. We could we could not do it if if you think that would be better. Uh, Which is what's currently the situation. We will see if it will work and when. Well, we're. I, I'm I'm optimistic that we're going to make some progress. We we may end up coming back uh, pretty soon to talk about um, changes to assorted group functionality and and uh, and, and viewer behavior with respect to groups. Um, we, we'd like to see what kind of progress we can make without that, um, but uh, that we're not ruling out changing the behavior somewhat to to take load off the system and and make the primary function of getting group messages around work better i don't think we'll lose the chatters list uh one of the one of the issues is um the chatters list is definitely part of the problem um a, a big part of the problem apparently uh because on large groups, the number of people joining and leaving ends up dominating the, the traffic in the system as a whole. And uh, there, there are far more messages conveying changes to, the, to, the, uh, to, to who's in the group than there are messages. Uh, and that's, that's obviously you know, one element of the problem. Um, yeah. Uh, so we're we're experimenting with different ways of of dealing with that. Um, but one one interesting question is whether or not we need to be able to display that list for, for example, for for all groups. I mean, are there categories of groups for which it's not interesting to have that participant list, and in fact, some of them might be the very biggest groups. Um, so, um, we might, we might want to, for example, say, if you can't chat in the list, uh, then you don't automatically join it or you don't, um, or maybe you don't get those notices for those groups. Um, so th there are a lot of things that are kind of out there, um, but, uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna experiment with those and see what what comes up. Um, it sends typing mm -hmm, sends start and stop typing messages to groups. Well, that's probably useless. I I doubt it's a big part of the problem. Oh well, I, I I I didn't I didn't suppose chat lag is not. There's no reason at this point to believe that chat lag is a, a viewer specific problem. It's it's the system as a whole that's a problem. So um, we're going to anyway. We're going to start a a, a new round of experiments soon. Uh, then there will be a bit of a pause while we um, have some people go on vacation and do for a little while and then we'll look at the data we've collected for that period and and do another round of experiments uh, so I'll keep you up to date on that and um, I'd, li I'd like when when we decide we've succeeded uh, and and we're still working out what the criteria for succeeded is are but uh, we'll we'll try to fill you in on what we found and how we got there <laughs> I like that hope. That's good. Um, yeah, Futashi, we we may well we may well do things on that order. Um, uh, 
I, I question whether that will be enough by itself, but it's probably not a bad idea. Can you drop us back down to 25 groups again? <laughs> well, it would, uh, that, that probably wouldn't help as much as all that. What, what probably would help a lot would be to drop the maximum number of people that can be in a group, but that would go over even less well, I think. So, uh, um, because that's, that's where the combinatorial explosion happens is large groups with lots of people coming and going. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you might want to go on vacation to somewhere where they don't have the internet. Uh, um, yeah, so uh, other topics? Uh, the only thing that I can give you is something Jess would say if she was here, and that's we're still on schedule for a uh, August 10th release. Okay. Um, or 11th? No, yeah, 10th. Sunday. Sunday night. Yeah, it would... It would... I may ask you to shift that date a little bit um, to avoid conflicts with people being busy here but we'll 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 see i'll i'll talk to jess about it move it to september yeah 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 i know the support I team was would love thinking, that i was just thinking you know midweek or or late that same week move it by a week move it out by a week not closer um just because if because uh, we're going to be, uh, most of the Second Life development team is going to be getting together physically in the same place um, early that week. And so nobody will be in their normal places and lots of us won't be online. We'll be standing at whiteboards together. Um, and I would hate to have that disrupted by anything bad that happens. Not that I think anything bad will happen, but. You never know, right? <laughs> You, you never do know. And um, and the more precautions we take, the better. Um, so, on the other hand, Firestorm users have waited quite a while for an update, and I'm sure a lot of them are, are looking forward to it. So, we'll see. Have you ever managed to get that uh, Linux build for the voice file from Vivox? No. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't look like we're going to, um, which I'm not happy about. But um, last time we talked to them, that was the answer. So. Uh, they're also complaining about the number of old versions of the voice client that are out there. Um, the fact that those two things are in conflict doesn't seem to impress anybody. But since the number of Linux users is very, very small, that it really doesn't amount to anything. It's a far smaller percentage than the number of people who are running very, very old voice clients on other platforms, especially Windows. Yeah, but it's uh, difficult to upgrade if you have to, you know, make if there's uh, what not in the code to accommodate for two different versions of the client, one for Linux and one for Windows. Uh, I understand. Right. Yeah, we've got uh, uh, a few users, a significant enough number that have problems with the latest voice files. 
Um, so, I don't know. But it's not easily reproducible. Right. Well, um, yeah, I, uh, unless we can get, unless we can get, you know, a coherent problem description, it's, it's sort of difficult to, to respond to that, but. I, I think Worley's, uh, finally found herself a guinea pig to, uh, okay. that, that can do a repro fairly well. Well, if you can get us, you know, a good description of what the issues are and, uh, a specific in world location and time when they were occurring, then we can try to look at, uh, try to try to have Vivox track it down, but um, they won't be interested in anything but problems with a new client. And I don't blame them. I wouldn't either. Somebody said something about port changes on on Vivox. Did we ever, did I miss a response to my question on that? Because I don't recall what that there were any port changes. Norton's losing voice and, uh, uh, it's she has to do something to her firewall to uh, get voice back when it happens. So Do you, do you know what it is that's not getting allowed? And what firewall are you using? I, incidentally, I, I, while Norton is typing a response, um, I have seen a bunch of stuff on... Uh, I've seen a few posts on the forums lately about people complaining about they can't download textures and meshes and avatar appearances um, and uh, all, all things that normally happen on HTTP and then discovering that there was a, an AVG firewall setting that they needed to change to do that. So um, that might be something you all want to watch for. Um, I I haven't run into that problem myself, but I don't run on a Windows system with AVG very often, um, so I don't know it. You wouldn't happen to have a link to uh, one of those posts, would you? Uh, I could probably find one relatively quickly. Let me see. Oh, Worley's got one. Relax, us. Worley's yeah. on it. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Um, yeah, the, uh, the, the recognizer f for that is almost certainly that it's, um, textures, meshes, and avatar layers that you can't download. Um, <clears throat> and if switching off HTTP fixes everything but avatar layers, then it's certainly HTTP that's the problem. Um. So, uh, which are, which are all things that we're interested in, in finding out more about because I'd really like to just get rid of the UDP texture path altogether. Um, uh, 
I think I think you'll find Kitty that when that uh, in Monty's latest viewer, that's not true anymore. The pipeline viewer blows UDP right out of the water. It's not the viewer. I have tried to say to you guys many, many times, but you don't appear to be wanting to listen. If a region has 20 or more users in it, HTTP sending from the region side gets to a crawl that's it's, it's useless. Yeah, we're 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 working on a on a on a fix for that. We we know all about what that issue is. Um. So. Thanks, Ross. Yeah, that's that that's one of the threads that I saw for sure. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we're 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 working on on that aspect of, on the on the it's it's the connection handling starvation on the server side, and um, it, in just as a point of information, usually when this has happened, and we've and we've been able to catch uh, catch when and where it was happening. It turns out that it's it's uh, the primarily brought about by viewers that have got uh, hundreds of HTTP connections open, um, and that just murders the servers. Um, so th that's it's very difficult for us to to deal with that. Um, but um, yeah, we're we're. We're looking at making changes on that order tech. Uh, we'll see. We're, we're experimenting with a couple of different possibilities. Um, I may actually be asking for volunteers to, to participate in an experiment um, sometime in the next couple of weeks. Right now, we're still working out how to how to measure the results, but we're getting there. Um, so it turns out that we, a couple of dot revs ago, we we broke some of the texture stat reporting and we, we got to get that fixed. And nobody noticed. APR util on OSX isn't linking with the pre-built expat. Oh. Uh, yeah, put that in the uh, open project, please, Cinder. Yeah, I found something similar. Uh, I'm I'm working on rebuilding all the packages using a new version of AutoBuild. Uh, and I've found a number of similar issues with some of the packages that Monty didn't rebuild. Um, and uh, we'll try to get all those cleaned up as much as we can. It's getting, getting better. It's getting harder to mess that up, fortunately. Well, just more work for Monty, right? Yeah, well, for somebody, yeah. Um, right now, I'm trying to keep Monty focused on finishing pipelining. Yeah, hopefully, I'm I'm hoping that we will get a chance to address as many of those linking issues as possible as we go through the upgrade to Xcode 5 and um, VS 2013 uh, project I really hope to get rolling on soon. 
So. Yeah. Well, I've set it as one of my goals to have it done by the end of the quarter. So we'll see. Yeah. Good. I'll be looking forward to that, Cinder. The hardest part is going to be migrating our own internal build farms. But it's got to be done. Yeah, well, we're not going to try and skip. Uh, I mean, So we got other topics. Uh, sixty three eighty two. Uh, blurred textures. So that. The blurred textures problem, we have a fix for. It is in QA now, and it will doubtless be fast-pathed into the next available maintenance release. Um, I don't really have a timetable for that. Um, Grumpity, do you have a notion... I don't know. I think we've got we've got a couple I'm of things looking. that are yeah. There are a couple of things working through QA, um, and we're trying to sort out the remaining issues with them. But we, we will certainly try to get that fix into the quickest available release path. It will probably go out with the fixes that are currently in Bureau Bear. 
Um, okay. Possibly the one before that. So about a month. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to be doing a snowstorm build sooner than that. So we could, we could fold it into that too. Yeah. Or we could put it into it more can, than one so that it has an opportunity to get out more Yeah, quickly. it can actually also go out with a, a refresh viewer if that one doesn't stop. Right. Right. So, uh, yeah. Um, we'll get it out soon. Yeah, well, that one's and pretty high priority. We, as, we all know as, how as soon as we is. figure out where it's going, it's going to go into a public repo, so you'll have a change set. Yes, I I find that pretty annoying too. It turns out that that it's those of you who are spending time on busy sims. Um, that's where it happens. It was quite tricky to uh, find a reliable repo, and it turned out to be um, the way to reproduce it reliably. It turned out to be to put it on uh, a simulator and then bomb that simulator with a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of garbage traffic so that it was um so that it was losing packets um and then and then that problem started happening pretty reliably and then it wasn't all that hard to fix uh but it um right but uh what what was probably happening Tech wolf is that that region was sharing a machine with some simulator that was really busy um, because most most regions, there's more than one simulator running on a on a on on a single host. Well, yeah, that would change the cost picture pretty significantly. Um, so all it takes is that you're on a is that you're sharing a host with something that's getting a huge amount of traffic. Um, but we did figure out the problem and fixed it. So. Um, that's coming soon to a public branch near you. And Grumpity, that's one of the reasons that uh, we tell you that you can't steal Whirly. You can borrow her, but you can't steal yeah. her. She <laughs> belongs to us. Um, when are the requirements for using SL going to be updated? We just updated them a few weeks ago. Um, and by the way, we're... Uh, we're pretty serious about about having dropped support for the things we say we've dropped support for. Um, so if you report a problem on XP, don't expect it to get attention because it won't unless we can repro it somewhere else. Um, As opposed to other operating systems where it gets immediate attention and gets fixed. Right. Uh, um, Similarly, um, you know, is it 10.5 or 10.6 that's not going to work anymore? 10.6 um, that's not going to work anymore um, as of the uh, the library refresh viewer. Um, so... Um, and really, from our stats, upgrading from Windows 8 to Windows 8.1 is magic. Yeah, it's... That, like if you have anybody who's crashy on, on Windows 8, have them upgrade to 8.1. Right, and that one, I, I believe, is a free upgrade, too. Um, so, you know, really, if somebody's complaining about crashing and they're on Windows 8, tell them tell them to do it. It really does make a, a really big difference. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, we're, we'll we'll see. Uh, so I, I mean, I, I look at I look at the number of people still running on some of these old old operating systems and and how horrible their experience is, and I I, I, I feel bad for them. Um, Is there Jira on mouse going wonky with Windows at 100% zoom? I don't know what that means. 
I think you mean if you change the UI size? Uh, Futashi, that fix for the texture thrashing is in progress and possibly even completed, like, today. Um, yeah. No, still in progress, actually. But Right. They're working soon. on it, though. Yep. Um, And uh, the one with the weird mouse behavior with UI size not equal to one, give me a Jira. Unless Whirly already knows of one. The, uh, yeah, well, some of the people in QA call the UI size slider the, the bug slider. You know, basically, you can dial up the number of bugs to whatever level you want. Um. Oh, not the viewer UI size. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. That's that's a new one. I don't know about this one. I haven't seen it. Interesting. Okay, I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, well, I I understand the need for the UI size slider, I, um, and there there are a bunch of things about that that I'd like to make work better, but. Um, Mm -hmm. You need to fix your group chat first, right? <laughs> Among other things, yes. Forty-one eighty-seven. Um, we are not currently building a text-based client for iPhone. We're not building a text-based client for anything. Uh, and I, it would surprise me if we decided to do that. We'll uh, we'll leave that to the very competent third-party viewers that have done it. Okay, um, I think we've about run out of gas. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, we can now shift to the standing around and gabbing part of the meeting. What? You're not escaping for the weekend? 
Come on, Oz. Uh, I'm I'm almost at escaping for the weekend. I have my mother's birthday party to get ready for. Oh, well, happy birthday to your mother. Yeah. It's uh, a, a, a big deal, and it's happening at my house tomorrow. So, needless to say, I have a lot to do. Well, thanks, Oz. Um, I'm going to run away before I start shooting my mouth, out, mouth off and keep you here late. So. <laughs> you need to move someplace else, Amir. There'll be parking someplace else. Have a good one, folks. And poof. <laughs>